Well, I was where we lived. We lived down on the Williams River when uh, when I saw this thing, and so I uh, well, always went to bed pretty early. My dad did, and about eight and nine o'clock, we always went to bed, and I laid down, and I didn't seem like go to sleep. And I had laid there a while, and just directly I hear the click open, come the door, and in walked the skeleton of a man. And he was the tallest man, and I, he was really tall. He must have been six or seven feet tall, or looked like that. And he, I noticed he had a fiddle in his hand when he walked in. And he walked about the middle of the floor where I was sleeping. And he took off on that turkey in the straw, and boy, I never had heard nothing play like that in my life. And I shut my eyes to keep from looking at the skillet of mine, but I was still listening to that tune. And uh, when I opened my eyes, he I waited till he finished the tune before I opened my eyes, but when he finished it, he was still standing, but he just turned and walked to the door, and just click open, come the door, and out he went. And the next morning, I was telling my dad about that. I said, that's a bunch of foolishness. Quit. He said, that is only just a dream or something you had. He said, quit thinking of such stuff as that. No, I said, it was the truth. I said, I said, I wish I could have played turkey in the straw. I heard somebody else play turkey in the straw like that. I said, that's foolishness. And I never told him more about it, but I can still mind that. Of, Whatever it was, I don't know whether it was a dream or not, but I tell you, I can still mind about it. And six or seven, you, a fellow old six or seven, you don't still can mind that just as well as it was today. You know it's bound to be pretty plain. That water, he couldn't have minded that. 